Tim Marker. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? As always, I am your host, Ryan D, a Ryan680. And this is Lex, back up again with another review now that it is December. Yes, it's December. Right around the corner, man. It's right around yeah. the corner. Yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, we're, we're T minus 25 days or 24 days if you 24. count your work week over. Yeah, 24 days left till Christmas. This is crazy. Could not believe it. Thanksgiving went flew by. And what better way to get us in the holiday spirit than a movie called Violet Night, ladies and gentlemen. Violet yeah. Night. Yeah, what a what a violent night it was. No pun intended. Uh, violent night starts uh, when a group of mercenaries attack the estate of a wealthy family. Santa Claus must stop in, to, must step in to save the day, and of course, Christmas. What else could it be? Has to save Christmas for every single everybody in the world, guys. Let's get right to it. I mean, right off the bat, I mean, what did you think of this movie, movie, Alex? I mean, was it? to your expectations. I mean, I like David Harper in so many, you know, I, I remember the first movie I could think of that I really saw him in, which I thought he was played really good. He played a really good uh, a-hole of a character, which was, uh, um, oh my gosh, uh, End of Watch with Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Peña. He was actually a cop in that movie and oh, he was a supporting right. role. Yeah, he played the, I mean, he, I mean, sadly he does get stabbed in the eye. Spoiler alert, he gets stabbed in the eye in that movie. Uh, and, and that film is like, like he's such a dick in that film. And granted, I don't know. I think that's his strong suit here. This is, you know, directed by Tommy. Uh, I, I think this is a strong suit when it comes down to acting roles here. Uh, what did you think of this film overall, man? Um, yeah, so this was a, a, a movie that i had not seen much of like the trailers yeah. and things like that um i think i told you like i had only seen like a couple tv spots not a ton from the movie itself yeah but david harbour uh, like the pitch from even just the 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 poster is david harbour is santa claus or at, yeah. le at least i actually didn't know i thought maybe since I didn't know the plot, I thought maybe it'd be that he happens to be working like Santa Claus, and oh, um, yeah, and that maybe he's like a, a former soldier or something like that. So yeah. it's funny that like no, he really is playing Santa Claus, and <laughs> um, he brings so much grit to the character. Where in a movie that is intended to show Santa's violent side you're right like he's fit for the role he was very well cast in this he is the one that stood out the most in terms of just bringing the energy carrying the character um movie itself is not perfect i think it lived yeah it, it, it surprised me in some areas but mm -hmm. once again i came in with zero expectations so mm -hmm. i was both surprised and then i saw certain things that like disappointed me a little bit but the fact that it disappointed me means that at one point throughout the movie, I actually had higher hopes. So like it raised yeah. the hopes of what I thought it could be. And then it underperformed in certain areas. So I guess once again, that's almost like a surprise experience, right? Like I think that's True. my yeah. overall take. I was surprised by it. Yeah. You know, the, the so many different, uh, and I would say this, you know, and we talked about it off camera was that this film took a while to get a little violent. It really did. In, in my point of view, it got a little, you know, we did see a little action sequences in the film. You know, we saw some, uh, strangling, we saw some snowball throwing, we saw some, a little bit of everything really. And then, uh, and then toward, towards the end, I would say probably towards the third act or, uh, probably halfway through the second act, we see a lot of different violent scenes that are actually the gore. Cause when you call it violent night, I would, that's why I told you I was like, it, it's not pretty violent. Yeah. Uh, is to its own to its own understanding, but again, it just has those struggles of you know just trying to stay alive. And I like how, uh, of course, we're not talking about spoilers whatsoever. But John Lugazalma, I mean, he's he's in this film and he plays a really good vil villain. He does. I think he plays a really classic villain here. I thought he was. I thought he portrayed the character very well. Uh, so many yeah. such a of a. Uh, um of a daring move of him to really uh it, when he goes above and beyond in this role here and i kind of i you know i believe that it, almost to where like i believe that he was that exact you know that villain itself and i i don't know i just feel like he just really plays those roles really good uh when it came to you know when it came down to like the chemistry though there was a few actors and actresses that I actually did not enjoy so much um yeah. you know of course we'll talk about like the family member okay i'm not gonna go too much into detail because it'll spoil it but like, a lot of it had to do with like the family members and all that but it just you know i just i couldn't believe it i was just like 
cringe. I was just like, oh my god. But but hey hey, again, this is a movie where I kind of feel like again to a certain degree, just like us because we're critics and everything. I kind of feel like sometimes we just need to lay back. We're not going to get out of this. We're not going to get a life-changing experience out of this movie. You're not. I mean, it's just one of those films to where you're not really going to get any, gain any IQ or any, like, it, it sits well where it's at. I feel like this movie does a really good job on capitalizing on that uh, violent sequences towards the end of the movie. David Harper does a really good job in that role. Like, I completely agree. He plays that Santa Claus very good. I think they should have gone a little bit more deep on certain aspects of his backstory because i thought we were going to get that from the yeah. trailer you kind of mm -hmm. i, I kind of thought we were uh and i, I think they, if they would have touched up on that i think that would have capitalized the film to be more uh more of a higher grade for me at, at least for myself more of a higher uh film rating here so i mean but yeah, i mean i, yeah. I think it was, it was like a mix of like i said at times the movie delivered on some like profound mm. messaging right like there was yeah there was a yeah. message that i agree there was an underlying it's not so much a spoiler but there's an underlying tone of like is is santa claus still needed in in the world that yeah. we live in today right like a lot of yeah the world is digital it is our current time the world is yeah uh, you know kids are not asking for like uh, you know built toys it's, it's more like yeah. Digital yeah. Stuff, video games etc yeah. so there's a whole narrative around that that <laughs> when it hits and when it starts giving you hints of like hey this is mm -hmm. what the movie is about it's actually working and then it has to go it, it then goes into the the chaos and the violent which also mm -hmm. work on its own right but uh my opinion is it's the the scenes were very there was depth in some of them, but the, the the way that it was shot and structured was one dimensional in the way that, okay, we're mm -hmm. going to show you this entire scene, scene of mm -hmm. like the violent stuff. And then we're going to show you an entire scene of our like message and deeper, mm -hmm. like family oriented thing. And then we're mm -hmm. going to switch again to the violent. And it, it, it kept structuring in those blocks. Yeah. And so at one point, once again, it, it, for me, at least it was about, what is the movie trying to accomplish? It's trying to do both, but it does feel like a juggling act. Um, yeah. And at times it was a well done juggling yeah. act, but it, it, for an audience, mem audience member, you just didn't know what to commit to. Yeah, no, true, exactly. But I, you know, I kind of feel like with the with our reaction, our theater reaction, our, our the people that saw this in the auditorium with us, I kind of feel like film film uh, moviegoers are really gonna enjoy this movie, though. I feel like it's it, they're really gonna enjoy it because of the nostalgia. They even mentioned I, I kind of um you know that's the huge argument is is die hard a christmas movie that's the huge argument there is that die hard really a christmas film they kind of touch up on that a little bit not just but but it's like they kind of yeah, like they, like they the... kind of take dabs at it and and to each his own you know i kind of for me it was just an uh Obviously, this is a rated R film, right? I mean, it's you know rated R. Uh, it's, For a moment, it has... I, I I was wondering whether it was though. Like I, I like yeah. you said about halfway, I was there was some violent stuff, but I was like, is it rated R? Because like a lot of yeah. stuff, yeah. I don't know. I there was like a choice was, where like it was definitely a rated lot of R. It was like, breaking someone's arm but like not seeing anything so i was like hey, i don't know if this qualified yeah. and then once again it did go into that later. you know on. for me for me I, I think it was the thing that got more and more annoying for myself was and again though this is weird because you know i'm used to a lot of cuss words and all i think the cussing was way too much i think it was over the, cussed itself if that makes any sense from like I just, think it just, was a, okay, just a movie because but... because every sentence like they would have to end like every other sentence, they had to end with like a cuss word. I was just like, I get it, but I don't know. I don't know. That just bothered yeah. me how they used poor language vocabulary well, well, on, like, on certain things. And, and and at times, like some of the characters were cartoony. They were meant to be cartoony. They were villains. Yeah, yeah. And and like you said, the 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 lead villain here, uh, I think, did a good job at like playing that cartoony style. Yeah. And then. And then there was times where, once again, like, it's almost like, they, oh, for a moment, they're real characters or real people with, like, yeah. things like that. But I think the dialogue kind of reflects that. Like, a lot of times yeah, it was about, true. like, oh, you have to act like you don't give a shit. So, like, yeah. you say a lot of cuss words and things like yeah, that. So, yeah, true. I think it's part of that. Part, um, part. Maybe, maybe that is the whole point of the the way the reason why this film's made is because of that and i get that that's understandable now that you bring it into light that's good that's i like that uh this film came out to be an hour and 52 minutes you know 
man, I kind of felt it. I'm not going to lie. I felt that That's hour, 52 yeah. minutes. It felt a lot longer than uh, than usually expected here in a film like this caliber. I, I, you know, when a film like this, I really expect it to be an hour and a half just to yeah. you know just, just to make the, the average of the film like this because once again it's the violence this, that's what it really relies on that it's whole like gore fun, it's like yeah. yeah it's meant to be like it's a, a fun, fun time, christmas a single, it all it's a christmas movie one night right because it's yeah christmas. like it's christmas. So christmas i totally i totally agree with you you, yeah. you do feel the length on this a bit um especially yeah. with like the way that and it's funny it, it's comedy yeah. it's good yeah yeah I wasn't laughing at every single time, but I was laughing at a few times where I was just like, yeah, oh my I, god, this I is chuckled. Good. I chuckled a few times, and then there was some times where I, it actually got like a real laugh out of me just because, yeah. like, some of it was just like bonkers. And I, <laughs> yeah. um, I think, like the the character of that place, like, um, it's not a spoiler, but there's there's like a there's kids in the movie. Um, it's minimal. It's mainly adults, but the mm. the the young kid that acts here as kind of like Santa Claus is kind of like core, like the, the North mm-hmm. stars in terms of like morale. Um, yeah. She did a really good job. She, she had a lot of charisma and I, I'm trying to look for her name, but like, it's not, she's not listed on, at least on the, on the Google result. Uh, the other kid is, but not, not her, but she did a really good job at having that, like kind of mm-hmm. middle ground. You, you, you talk about Trudy, a, right? Ki- yeah, yeah, the girl that pres- okay. the, the yeah, Le- uh, Le- um, Leia. Uh, her name's Leia, I believe. Yeah, Leia. Okay. Yeah, uh, Leia. She did a good job at just kind of being like the kid that kind of brings it all together, and the kid that yeah. cares about Christmas, whereas the adults are all bitter and you know all that stuff. Yeah, like it's definitely it a different. lot of fun. Uh, yeah. A lot of fun. It surprised me once again. It, it, you just have to know what to expect if you're expecting like a fully compelling like narrative story that really drives it's, in christmas it's not it's hard yeah. it's hard to give it to this movie in particular yeah but it's a fun time and david harbour yeah. like should keep doing some of these fun roles because yeah um, i, I, I kind of does it so well like the yeah right yeah you know we saw a, li- a lot of it in um i would say probably similar not as extreme but we saw a little bit of it in black widow which i kind of liked yeah a lot of it and uh, uh again we'll see him in um in the in the next marvel film but yeah i mean i enjoyed this film you know i kind of felt like this is one of those movies where you just take off your critic hack and just enjoy yeah. the damn film yeah. that's I what it so. is enjoy the damn film for what it is it's not gonna be uh an oscar worthy film it's not gonna be one of those yeah. you know like oh you gotta go see you this is definitely uh a beer opening kind of movie it really is it yeah, really is for sure. but yeah uh ratings one out of ten ten be the highest lex when you give this rating uh it's, uh, it's like a seven, you know, like I. Wow, I mean, you're high. Okay. Be, all right. All right. Yeah. Cause I'm thinking of like six and a half, but like, no, like you're right. Like taking off your, your, your critic hat and just. Yeah. Movie, Enjoying it. it. It once again, just made me enjoy it a lot more from the few previews that I had. I honestly thought mm. it was going to be like ass, like full, full <laughs> ass. Um, so. Man. it exceeded that like i yeah. still left that i was like well that was just a snippet so let me still walk in with no expectations but mm-hmm. once again even if even if i go back to what i thought it was going to be it it exceeded my expectations so exceeded. i think go. seven but you know realistically i'm probably being a little generous uh but yeah I'm, I'm, just... I'm totally i'm totally different a little bit so i'm gonna have to give it a solid yeah. five five that's five yeah, that's maybe fair. a four depending how but uh, it's like oh, yeah, uh, but no, i mean I that's average I, mean, I think for me no how is four average out of, out oh, no. of 10, oh no five five five, five yeah five, five is midpoint five guess, is medium so. medium yeah it's like it's yeah. a, you know uh, but but for me again though it just comes down to the point to where you know i just i enjoyed it for what it was and it sits it doesn't go beyond it, its caliber it just stays where it's at and it's comfortable where it's at and i'll leave it like that I really did. I moviegoers are really gonna enjoy this film. This is definitely a Christmas movie that I, I'm for sure people are going to enjoy this. And and yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously we uh, since we're about a little bit above average, I'm gonna say yeah, we do recommend this movie, guys. Check out uh, with David Harbor in Violet Night, ladies and gentlemen, at a theater near you. But yeah, any final thoughts, Lex? Final thoughts? Uh, no, I think I think this movie might actually do really well on streaming when it hits streaming. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I don't think it'll hit streaming before Christmas comes around, but mm, I, I you imagine could be surprised. Like, 
Maybe, but I imagine yeah. down the line, like, let's say for the next year, if it mm-hmm. shows up and someone has not seen it and they'll just stumble it, yeah, they'll have a really good time. I mean, from a Definitely. movie going experience, like it was still fun. But oh, what yeah. I mean is, like, I can see that being like that little thing that someone just happens to find on True. on a streaming service and yeah. just getting surprised by it because it's it's fun. Well, and- since yeah, since it's Universal, it'll be on Peacock. That's what I kind of think. That's like, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that's okay. that's what I'm saying. I think. Peacock because Peacock likes to do those deals where like it's right before Christmas, so maybe they'll try to push it before Christmas and be like, "Hey guys, you get this plan for the year, get this deal, yeah. and get and watch Violet Night." But the, I mean, it, it it could happen. You never know. But yeah, question is for you guys: What did you think of this movie, guys? What did you think of this movie review? What did you think of Violet Night of David Harper, Stranger Things? End up watching nonstop movies and tv shows that we could talk about with this guy with this gentleman uh here and you know he does a really good job he really does yeah i'm just saying stick 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 to what stick what you're good at and then this is what it comes down to it really did we enjoy i enjoyed his santa more than i enjoyed the movie that makes any sense whatsoever but yeah yeah oh yeah yeah he was my favorite part of the movie oh yeah exactly there you go but yeah guys question is for you once again what did you think of this movie put on comments down below and do not forget to like share subscribe to us on our youtube channel as always i'm your host ryan d ryan 680 and this was lex take care everyone and uh, merry early christmas